no flight school. I will learn to fly. Ooh, let me take you to flight school. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. So it's pretty hard to get me excited about new uh, programs or new applications for Flight Simulator because really, after nine years of Flight Simulator X being around, we've pretty much seen it all and done it all. But, of course, there are always things that can improve the experience for us that much more. Some utilities that can immerse us more, or also some things that can just make our lives easier. And what we'll be looking at today is a program that does exactly that. It makes life a whole lot easier, especially for users that have been using Flight Simulator X or P3D or Flight Simulator X Steam Edition for a long time and have amassed an absolutely massive catalog of add-ons, sceneries, airports, etc. The name of the program that we're going to be talking about is called FS Cubed, and it's made by SDG. Now, SDG to some of you guys may not be a familiar name. But SCG actually stands for Sim Design Group, and they've been around for a long time. I remember seeing some of their sceneries in FS9 back in 2003, 2004, when they were really one of the first developers out there to bring us African and Egyptian sceneries and Middle Eastern sceneries to the flight simulation community. So we're talking about Cairo, we're talking about the new HECA, which just got updated, um, I think about a week ago or so. Um, they're the developers behind that, so they're definitely reputable. Right, they're not just uh, some um, fly-by-night, uh, overnight kind of pop-up shop. Um, they've been around and they're, they've been a staple in the flight simulation community for quite some time. But today they're not doing a scenery. Today they're not doing a um, airport. They're doing something kind of related to that, but something that we have not been able to crack the nut on in quite some time. So let's talk real quickly about what this tool is and then we'll go into using it and we'll talk a little bit more about it while it's in process. So first of all, um, if you have been doing this for a long time, if you've been flight simming for a long time, you've probably bought, let's say, four airports or so a year, five airports, or maybe even more. So if you do the math on that, um, you know, over nine years, you buy, you know, five airports a year or so, you end up with, you know, nearly 50 airports that you have to reinstall every single time there's a new operating system that comes out or every single time you get a new PC and you want to do a clean install or every single time you do what a lot of flight simulators do um, which is a little bit of spring cleaning if you will on your hard drive by uninstalling some of your um, programs and then reinstalling them from scratch just to get clean installs also when you look at P3D users usually each time they have a new iteration of P3D they have to uninstall the old version and then reinstall using a clean install the new version this happened in 2.3 to 2.4 2.4 to 2.5 and it'll inevitably be happening with the new P3D version 3 that'll be coming out here soon also FSX Steam Edition users may want to um, let's say move from their PC to their laptop if they're on the road and when they want to access their flight simulator there although it's very easy to reinstall the program and the DLC that's bought directly from Dovetail Games Marketplace uh, it's not so much easy to do that with your airplanes and with your sceneries etc. So this program really looks to solve that by providing us with a scenery and airport backup tool that can pretty much be backed up in about two clicks um, or in this case what they call a snapshot in two clicks and then can be restored from that snapshot in about another two clicks. It's fast, it's efficient, it's easy, and uh, it's very, very complex. Do not be fooled by the relatively simple looking interface here. It is a very complex program and we'll talk about exactly how it works here in just a minute. But first of all, there is a manual that comes with it that I would recommend as with all things that you read the manual. and. Uh, if you look, it just works you through installing it, shows that you have to inter insert your uh, license key um, and your email address uh, once you've bought the product. And then it shows you pretty much what I'll be showing you today, which is the very, very, very easy install process. Um, it also talks about some of the future plans, and the developer has said that they do want to be um, supporting uh, um, FSX Steam Edition through all of its updates as well as P3D v V3 when it comes out and also provides um, all their support contact. The one thing I will say about this uh, developer is that they are 
remarkably, remarkably responsive, easy to get a hold of, and um, they take great care of their customers. Uh, there have even been cases, although I've never had to do this, there have even been cases where the developer has called somebody on the phone or via Skype um, or using TeamViewer to walk them through any issues they may have. Although I would say that this program is largely idiot proof, so more than likely you won't have an issue with this thing. So first of all, let's talk about how to use it. So the target folder. Now, this is not what you may think it is. You may think this is going to direct you to your flight simulator install. No, the 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 target folder is really where you want your snapshot or your backup to go. So you could do it on your desktop. You could do do it to a uh, external hard drive, such as the ones that I have here. Um, but what I decided to do was to put it in my um, C drive. So what you would simply do is go to your C drive, you can create a new folder if you'd like, name it whatever you want to, in this case I named it FSX Backup, and then you just hit OK. Great. Now all I have to do is hit Take Snapshot. So while this is running, let's, uh, let's take a moment to talk about how complex this thing really is. So what we're dealing with here is not just them copying over your add-on scenery folder and throwing it in there. Because as a lot of users know, that would not help you with Orbix sceneries, that would not help you with Aerosoft sceneries, that would not help you with Fly Tampa sceneries, because all of those sceneries typically use their own custom folders and their own custom paths um, when they're installing their scenery. So where they put their mesh, where they put their animations, their libraries, where they put their custom objects, um, they're scattered all throughout your hard drive and uh, all throughout your FSX folder. Um, that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, to ensure that that developer um, can organize their product on your system the way that they want to, but also for some anti-piracy reasons. So what this program essentially does is it takes a look at your scenery.cfg and it figures out what add-ons you have. Then what it does is it does a comprehensive sweep across all the different ways that um, developers can configure their uh, add-ons and it basically marks all the different places that your add-on scenery would be. So it'll say, hey, you know, there's a custom Aerosoft folder here that has assets for um, you know, uh, Manchester, or it'll say, okay, there's a custom Orbix uh, folder here that has the animations for um, Palm Springs or for Sonoma, etc. And so it'll go through and it'll do all that. So I will say that because it has to go through and basically map out all of the directories across your computer, it does take a little bit longer to do a snapshot than it does to take a restore. Also, when it takes a snapshot, it takes all of that information. Then what it does is it grabs the files. Then once it grabs the files, it compresses them and compresses them into its own uh, folder or that snapshot folder and then archives them and sets up its own paths um, so that when you're ready to restore, um, it knows exactly where to put everything. It can create the folders for you and it can you know, pretty much leave you in the same place that you left off when you, uh, when you um, uninstalled your old FSX to begin with. So it's really, really comprehensive. It's really, really complex. It has all kinds of algorithms, um, you know, crawlers. It has um, its own compression techniques and the way that it archives and the way that it indexes things. I mean, it's a really, really comprehensive program that looks very simple on the surface. Now, once it does compress, right now it compresses at 50%. That's another reason it takes a little bit longer to back up than it does to actually restore. So because it's compressing at 50%, of course, those compression um, instructions take quite some time to go through. But in future iterations, as you'll see in the manual, SDG has said that they are working on um, different compression techniques to maybe give you a 20% compression or maybe even a 10% compression, which will give you a much larger file but it'll make the snapshot process go that much faster if you have the hard drive real estate to spare. The one last thing I would say around hard drives is that when you do do your snapshot, you can do your snapshot to your primary drive or to a backup drive if you'd like. Um, but what I would recommend is that you do do it on your primary drive, especially if your primary drive has solid state disks. And the reason for that is, is because when it's compressing and when it is uh, restoring, it uses about 50% of your CPU. That means that there's a lot of throughput that's going through not only all the different buses on your uh, actual PC, but also to your hard drive. And so an external hard drive or a old mechanical hard drive will probably make the process uh, uh, take that much longer, 
if you put it on an SSD, it'll go much faster. Now, of course, once you get the compressed file, you can go and throw that on an external hard drive and upload it to the cloud if you have enough cloud space. Um, but when it comes time to uh, create the file or to restore it, I would recommend doing it on your primary drive, especially if you have an SSD, to make that process go much, much faster. So with that said, I do want to let everybody know what this works with and what it does not work with. Now I've tested this for about the last four days. I've installed about 50 airports from about seven different developers and I think that it's a very, very short list of things you'll actually have um, compatibility issues with this program. First of all um, is uh, Orbix Vector. So Vector does not um, back up. Uh, it's in, in its totality, I should say, um, while using this tool. Um, Vector does require a new install. Um, the other thing that I would say is uh, FSDT airports. So FSDT airports, because they use the add-on manager and um, you know virtual AI's technology, which is uh, not only something that helps with um, some custom animations and compatibility with GSX and all that stuff, but also it has a lot of anti-piracy um, features built into it. Uh, FSDT airports do not play nicely with this tool either. It's not that it breaks anything, but just that when you're done restoring your snapshot, you will have to reinstall your FSDT airports um, with the add-on manager. But everything else, Fly Tampa, um, Orbix, uh, FSDG, Aerosoft, everything else that I've tested with it works absolutely flawlessly. And when I talk about Orbix, I'm talking about all their products, the full fat regions, Northern California, Pacific Northwest, Alaska, Australia. I'm talking about their airports. I'm talking about um, their land class, so European land class uh, and North American, uh, or I should say, um, what is it, Canada and Alaska land class. I'm talking about Fly Tampa and its libraries. So at YSSY, you'll see the little custom shark, you'll see the people flow. Uh, or whatever they call it, you know, but they're they're animated people. Um, you'll see all of that. At Aerosoft, you'll see the flying flags. You'll see, um, you know, if there's any uh, custom um, vehicle animations, you'll see that. Um, at uh, FSD, FSDG's um, NUC, you'll see uh, the little custom Autogen helicopter flying around. Everything else, it works absolutely flawless with. Full fat regions, uh, land class, photo real scenery, airports with custom animations, all that is literally a two-click uh, reinstall instead of having to go through, put in CD keys, um, install libraries, do this, do that. You don't have to do any, any of it anymore. Um, really, all you have to do if you did a completely clean install is you have to uh, get Vector again if you use Vector, reinstall that. Um, you do have to reinstall your FSDT airports. Um, because of their add-on manager and everything else in terms of your scenery goes along with it it's uh it, i'm sorry and one last thing i should say is also including um custom mesh so it's it's really remarkable it's really a remarkable tool it's ridiculously comprehensive it's something that's long overdue and um you know once you have your backup i'll tell you that on a 40 gigabyte um backup it uh only took about I believe I timed it out to be about 15 minutes or 16 minutes or so for that thing to get uh, restored off of my SSDs. Of course, results may vary based on your um, particular hard drive configuration. So anyways, guys, I mean, look, uh, in a nutshell, um, as you guys can see running behind me, uh, you guys can see that we've already tested YSSY, which is one of the more complex and latest and greatest sceneries. Um, you can also see us here flying over uh, Orbix's um, open land class uh, for um, Canada and Alaska. You guys will also see KPSP coming up here with the uh, Orbix libraries running in full effect. And uh, we'll also be taking a look at uh, KSFO here in a minute as well um, up there in the uh, Orbix Northern California scenery. The whole point is, is that not a single thing other than Vector that you see in any of these videos has actually been installed. Everything else just came directly out of FS Cubed, which considering how all these different add-ons, all these different sceneries share their own levels of complexity and are scattered across your folders, the fact that they all were reinstalled uh, using a simple couple of clicks that you saw um, here in the video 
is really remarkable and really, really shows that this tool is uh, not only worth your time, but also your support. Uh, I'll tell you that I'll put a link in the description below to uh, find this product for those of you guys who um, would find value in a product such as this. I believe right now it's uh, selling for somewhere around um, $11 US, I think uh, 9 euros. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a great steal, it's a great bargain, um, especially for those of you uh, who are either going to be migrating to a new operating system, maybe migrating to a new SIM, a new PC, a new hard drive, want to have your sceneries with you if you want to migrate over to your laptop for some mobile simming, I mean, you name it. If you have more than, I would say, 10 add-on airports, I would say that this is a great tool to have uh, because of the utility and the ease of use that um, it has. I mean, it's in a, just a couple of clicks can back up, um, you know, nearly 75% uh, of your FSX, of course, minus your, um, like, Rex textures and your uh, airplanes. So anyways, going over to Sim Market, um, I would definitely recommend this as a buy. Like I said, there's very few products that I actually get excited about, and this is one of the ones that I do. Um, and, uh, of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave some comments down below, and I'd be happy to try to ask them, answer them to the best of my ability. Um, but also, don't be afraid to ask the developer questions. You know, there are some developers that do a really, really great job of communicating with their clients. There's some like PMDG. Um, there are some like, uh, you know, Dovetail Games, of course. Um, and then, you know, there are some that kind of suck. There are some that just send you over to forums and tell you to go kick rocks and figure it out on your own. Um, but uh, definitely SDG is one of uh, the um, developers out there that really, really support their clients in every way, shape, and form. So uh, feel free to reach out to them if you guys have any questions or concerns. So once again, pretty much backs up all of your scenery except for uh, Vector. Um, everything else, every other airport that I've tested, other than, of course, FSDT because of their add-on manager, which who knows, I mean, SDG may soon be able to get around that, but for right now it does not work. Um, but every other airport, every other scenery um, works like a charm. So, anyways, guys, hope this was helpful. Um, and uh, let me know if you guys want to continue to see more reviews as I run into some cool products such as this. All right, well, uh, everybody take care, and I'll talk to you soon.